Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. Today I have a bonus video for you because I was too excited by Junk Journal January to not try to participate more regularly than I would have done otherwise. For those of you who don't know what it is, Junk Journal January is an event organized by Met Journals and Get Messy Art, I think. You get a set of prompts and you can make them in your junk journals, share them via video or pictures. If you've seen my last video, I made my junk journal and thank you for, for your response to it. I didn't think it would be watched as much. And so I wanted to really try to participate because last year I wasn't able to do it because it was too stressful to, for me to do it. So this year I decided to do it but not think too much about it. So I'm not like entirely happy about the pages I've done so far, but I want to try to push through it and do as many prompts as I can without getting uh, bogged down on the details. The first prompt was resolutions and it's not something I do, so I wasn't really sure what to do. I thought about skipping that prompt, but I really wanted to play the game as best as I could, so I decided to twist it a bit and not do resolutions, but resolution, just one resolution, and you will see what it is in a minute. And the first decoration I wanted to add to my page was a cutout of this flower. I had spotted it when I was looking through my ephemera and I knew I would have to do some fussy cutting to have it uh, on my page and I don't like doing fussy cutting. I know some junk journalists say how relaxing they find it. I find it very frustrating, especially this one. It was very intricate. And you can see I'm having a bit of trouble trying to go into all the nooks and crannies. But I decided to try to do as best as I could. So it's not perfect. Usually I would have stopped or tried to really, really do it super precisely and maybe not finish the page. So I'm quite happy about how it turned out. And in fact, I like the black around the flower. So you've just seen... Um, what I was talking about for my resolutions. I was thinking about this sticker I have put on my daily scrapbook, which is Please Grow, which is a subtle, not so subtle nudge to myself, to uh, grow up on certain things this year. So I thought that grow would be a nice resolution to have for the 1st of January. And I wanted to use some of the stickers in this sticker book a good friend of mine gifted me this uh, sticker book a few years back and I haven't used it too much because I wasn't too much into stickers in the past but I loved the design of those stickers so I kept it and I thought I might try to use it in my junk journal and I wanted something green to go on the page to offset all the brown tones and the pinks and I thought that my fussy cut flower the pink would go really well with a deep uh, green background I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, what I was talking about in my junk journal video when I was making the journal was that I have no idea what to do when I'm doing junk journaling except when I'm making the pages. When I'm making the pages or when I'm crafting something else, I see the steps like a line in front of me and I can just go on and it's very relaxing. But for some reason, decorating the pages uh, in junk journal doesn't come to me. I don't see the steps in front of me, so I just try to put things on the page I found pretty. And I decided to try to doodle a bit on the page because I always like the results when other junk journalists do it. But I never have the confidence to try to start doodling like this. So I'm not super happy about the result, to be honest. I had to go over it several times uh, to have something that was like slightly okay.
tried to let a resolution in French, résolution, uh, but I did not calculate well how long the word would be, so I did not have enough space to write it there, which is a pity because I really liked writing on the this transparent bit. And I thought that the lettering wasn't awful because I'm not awesome at lettering, but it's a junk journal, I can just glue stuff on top if I'm not happy, so I just use some bits of ephemera to add to it. And I'm going to find a way to working that prompt in my journal, but it's going to take a little while. This page is very busy. I was throwing basically everything I had at it, trying to get to something, but you'll see that the next page has a completely different atmosphere. So I was a bit bothered by the fact that the sticker had such a big white outline when it was in, and it was in contrast with the black outline of the flower. So I thought I might use a combination of permanent marker and liner to draw a black outline around the leaves and I really like that result. This stamp set, this letter stamp set, was gifted to me by a good friend a few years back. I've never been able really to use it because it's a bit too ornate for my usual taste, but I thought that it would go really well in a journal. It's a letter set by Sostre Negrelle, if you're interested. And voila, this is the end of this first page. Um, I was happy about the result and I was thinking about starting the second prompt, which is quote. And I was thinking about, I'm not a person that really likes to write down quotes, etc. But I was thinking about one of my favorite reads from late 2022, which was a French novel by Judith Gauthier called Isoline. Judith Gauthier is the daughter of Théophile Gauthier, a famous French writer from the 19th century. And Isoline was such a beautiful novel. It's a gothic story. It was so beautifully written 
And the quote I had chosen is, and I'm going to read it in French and then I'm going to try to translate it because I'm not sure Isoline has been translated into English. So the quote is, Il n'y en a pas deux comme elle, elle est méchante et bonne, sage et folle, c'est une belle plante sauvage remplie d'épines. So basically it means, there's no one like her, she is mean and she is good, she is quiet and she is mad, she is a beautiful wild plant full of thorns. And this is the next day. I had tried to use that frame you saw me cutting out with my craft knife, but I didn't like how busy it was on the page, so I decided to use it for something else. And I wanted to write down the quote at the top of the page, but ways to use bulbs wasn't as poetic as I would have liked, so I'm gonna now be trying to write down the quote in a manner that's satisfying to me. I didn't want this page to be as busy as the previous one, but I still wanted to add a few bits, like this dragonfly sticker, and I thought that a dark kind of flower would go well with the quote, and I wanted to have my ephemera being linked to the quote with this white plant full of thorns, and I thought at first I would doodle like a vine of thorns, but I really liked the um, stickers. This is a very abrupt ending because 
it's been quite a challenge to film and edit quickly to have the video up while the challenge is still running so i forgot to do an outro for the video so this is my outro so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed watching me struggling doing junk journaling i'm not sure i will publish the next prompts as quickly but i will certainly try to do my best to do them and to show them to you if I'm not able to put them in a video, I will put them on Instagram and you can look up my Instagram in the description. And if I can't do a full length video with the, my results for the prompts, I will try to do a short video. So, all of that to say, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!